everyone. Today is gonna be a doozy. Let me get into character. Here we go. Yeah, not a good sign if I bust out something from literally years ago that I have never showed the proper colors of. Anyway, this is gonna be a rough episode for me. I struggled writing this. I am going to have a full rant later, but it's gonna be loud, violent, and have a ton of curses. If you're down for that, it'll come soon. For now, you got this. If I sound down, it's because I am. <sighs> Chapter 4 was more than a disappointment. I genuinely hate this. After three parts of build-up, we got this. No proper action, just more build-up to the last part. It sucks. They could still have build-up, but actually have a fight. That's my main gripe with this chapter. The lack of battle. I don't care about the talking. I don't care about leading to the Avengers. This just fails on too many fronts. Still, let me give credit, as little as it is. Let's talk about what's said, even though this contradicts what was before and the talking and using Claw against his own device made sense. Everything else? No. Let's dive into the rewrite, and boy, do I have some interesting things to say. We need actual action. We need to be hyped, do we not? We need to want the Avengers to come, do we not? We want to watch on, do we not? Then why? Is there nothing to make us do that? Yeah, we see Tyrell and Burner give a few hits, but that's it. What about Alyssa? Or Emily? Nope. Just a crappy background behind Claw, and we don't see him landing hits on the girls, what he's aiming towards, or anything. I'm not even mad about Danny being up and out. We saw the dude go flying yards into the air prior chapter. So why can't we see Claw actually fight the girls while Damien and Tyrell are talking? It just looks like he's shooting aimlessly and the girls are nowhere to be seen or heard. It breaks the immersion and it sucks. This is supposed to be a motion comic. These are supposed to be superheroes fighting the big bad of this special and this is what we get? This is messed up. This can't hype anyone. This killed all enjoyment I had of this miniseries. And I am the only one on YouTube talking praise. And all of that is gone. Here's how you actually build up to the Avengers. Have all the kids but Danny fight. Again, it makes sense for him to be out. Show them dodging getting hit, struggling, and losing. Then have the boys talk, or if you want, have it both happen at the same time. It is possible. You just need each of the boys to have unique boxes so we know. And that isn't too hard since they are already color-coded. Then have Alyssa and Burner be permanently down. Like a broken ankle or something. Tyrell can still be the one to make Claw misfire, that is fine. He is the fastest and can keep safe better, but mind you, he has taken direct hits. Why is this important? Because he is much weaker. Have him fall and cheer, but cry shortly in pain after. These kids are young and full of energy, but Claw knows how to hurt people. He's been around for years, and these kids are still new to the hero gimmick. While Tyrell is in pain, Emily rushes to him and Claw has them pinned. 
They may have gotten his machines down and out, but he's still standing. This is how you keep people on the edge of their seats. This is what you do to hype the Avengers up. Make it worth it. Now we care about them. Now we want to see what's next. Now we want to see the ending. That is all I'm gonna say. I have a lot of hatred for this chapter, and I went on long enough. I am not looking forward to chapter 5. Now, I got some good news. I know someone else who's going to be speaking about Marvel's freshmen really soon. I want to make a video with them, or about them, maybe even both. I'll have to talk to them about it. Apparently, I was their inspiration, and I'm genuinely surprised about that. If I inspire you in any way, let me know. I am down to talk to as many people as possible. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to be burning a few things in rage because of this chapter. Peace and love.